switch and you know to battle each other. A lot of people wouldn't battle my style because of the floating, the gliding. The gliding is something that's like unique to the style that you have to be agile. You can dance in one spot, that's fine. But if you move around and cover a lot of space, then it's very hard. It's hard for you to really battle somebody who can do that. So, that's a good part of uh, floating. Be agile. What kind of like, um, there's there any styles in floating? I heard there's like a, one of the Transformer guys, uh, Professor Pop, told me there's a 3D glide. Some of them, oh, yeah, three. Float, three D float, something like that. Yeah, there's, a, there's, a, there's certain floats, which he might label it as a three D float. Me, I call it power floating, when you can float with speed, and you can float to the, you can float to the, to the point where you stop in midair and turn. So that's when you can master a certain angle or balance on your feet. I really don't see a couple of people do that. I see a people glide. Gliding is different. Yeah. Gliding is just using heels and toes, gliding across the surface, and it looks neat. But to float, you have to, you could be able to stay up on your feet like a ballerina and switch angles. That's different. And a lot of people like to know how you do it, but you have to be real, real flexible because it's not something that's easy. And doing it with the music, changing up your style with the music and knowing the music and programming the music in your mind, then you know what move go with what. You just don't splurge out a bunch of moves to one beat. You break up the moves into the deep, different beats and know what looks good and goes with what. So, especially when people don't expect you to do certain things to certain beats. What kind of music uh, you mostly like to dance to? I like to listen to um, electro, uh, hip hop, old school hip hop, different beats, uh, craft work, a lot, a lot of old records. What do, you, what do you think about the new school kids out there? Well, I like the, I like, I respect the energy and the uh, creativity, but. Um, and what do you have for them, like, some advice, you know? I have, I have a lot of advice for them. I wish they would uh, do their homework, go back and learn the basics all over again. And uh, a lot of them mix attitude with the dance, which is irrelevant, you know? It's, dance itself is a language without even opening your mouth. You can dance and express yourself without even opening your mouth about your anger. You know, and you capture people's attention. If you have to bust somebody or hurt somebody to catch their attention, to say how you feel, then you're not making your point across. Words of the wise. <laughs> so, dancing is basically my outlet for a lot of frustration and things I do. That's why I come out here with days that there ain't no dancers out, and I practice to keep tuned and ventilate to create my style, to be sharp and tuned. And it's like a workout, it's something that you know I keep thinking about going over, you know, and it helps me, it helps me to stay loose, then my bones start hurting, you know. As long as I keep the music alive, I dance alive. But um, you too, you are an inspiration to me also because you have different qualities that you go over certain moves that I haven't seen in a long time and it's good to see an image of people in your style, you know, and it's, it's, it's encouraging, always seeing old faces, it's better to see some new faces, a new style, it's good. You have um, like um, I don't want to say. Uh, 
Do you have any tips on uh, like floats? I know you know the, the, some of the waves that you do and uh, like you know yeah. popping, you know your style, you know. It's it's different. It's different to. I basically merge a different style to the music. Like different music, I'll, I'll do a certain style to it. So it's uh, mostly like, in, in a way, you're freestyling. Yeah, freestyling to different music. So no one can say that I'm doing a style. Oh. You know, certain record, you do one style to it, and you cannot do it again. It's just when the record come on, you do that certain style. And you can't say that um, a person look like somebody else. Who invented the, the, the cigarette? The, the cigarette, that thing, the cigarette trick? Because I know you're doing really good. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people do it. And um, I really can't pinpoint the person who, who uh, done it first because I can't remember that far back. Yeah. Um, it was a time when we did a lot of things, you know. Yeah, like tell me some of some of those. Well, I used to dance school. with Clown, who was another good dancer. And after I did the cigarette, he would put the cigarette in his eye. Yeah. So wow. I haven't seen nobody done that that put a cigarette right here in his eye and move his throat. Oh. So man. you know, <laughs> it's like these certain things that you do, and you don't even have to be battling nobody. It's unique, you know, and um, they used to have a lot of tricks, like Kid Terrific. He used to do magic tricks inside his style. Uh, umbrellas, all kind of objects I used to use for to enhance their style, their skills. Uh, I just use my, my skill that I, I specialize in, that's photo. It makes people. It makes people feel good to see somebody glide on air. Tall is them. It makes them want to be feel a part of it. Any? You have any shout outs for you know anybody out there that they're gonna see you now? Or well, I have a lot of respect them. for the guys who passed away. May the image um, and a talent and uh, appreciation be remembered like Larry Love and a couple other people who passed away. They are not forgotten. And um, for the guys that's old school, who's been there for a while like myself, we can, uh, we can only put out that, you know, put out what we know and what we do try to make it better because it ain't gonna be perfect it's just improvement so we try to make it better and hope we can um, pass it on to the right people who's gonna uphand it and respect it you know I don't want it to be destroyed or dishonored I want it to be respected you know people respect dance it's like carrying the baton if you're gonna carry the baton you go all the way respect it respect the race and the run that you're running for Keep it going.